be talking to Francis, who is a Galway fan. Hi, Francis. Well, Ben. What do you think of the season so far? Um, yeah, this season has been a bit of, bit of a surprise for all Galway United fans, uh, especially on the online forum at GalwayUnitedFC.net. But uh, yeah, so far we've won 11 of our, our first uh, league games this season, which kind of caught everybody off guard, like, you know. But to um, <clears throat> to lose to Longford away on Monday was a bit of a a bit of a kick, and hopefully it's just a, a blip in the season, and we can return to to winning ways again this season versus versus Waterford FC. Who are the standout players in the Galway squad? Um, standout players for me have been uh, Vince Bowden and uh, Brendan Clark. Vince with with eight goals this season, and Brendan has just been amazing in goals. So. Yeah, hopefully neither of them pick up any nickels this evening and, and we can start back on winning ways against against Waterford FC. What style of football would you like to see Galway United play tonight? So a lot of our fans would describe it as uh, as hoofball, but uh, since Ollie Horgan came in, in in the off-season and joined John Caulfield in, in the backroom team, um, yeah, it's been great. It's been a lot of ball on the ground and slowly... Uh, working our way out from the defence and, and yeah it's proven with all the goals that we've scored like, you know. What are the home crowds at AIM and DC Park like this season? Um, the crowds at AIM and DC this season have just been amazing it's been growing for the last three or four years um, before the game against Cove we were probably averaging about 2000 but uh, thanks to all the uh, the people in the background, um, a lot of board members and, and of course our, our amazing media and marketing team, um, they, they sold out what was described as a, a nothing game. Um, in previous seasons we probably would have got one and a half thousand and credit to the guys, uh, 4,300 sold out crowd, it's been a while since we've had a sellout in Ama DC so great to see. Do you think Galway can be war of the night? And uh, and yeah, this evening against Waterford, it's going to be a tough game. Definitely the toughest game so far this season. Um, I'm going to go with a three-two, um, but I'll take anything one-nil um, to to. It's a six-pointer game, so if if Waterford win, we're back to uh, we're just four points ahead, I believe. And and if we win, yeah, it's, it's ten, which makes a, a massive difference. But so look, we'll see. Um, Thanks for talking to me, Francis, and good luck for the rest of the season. I will be talking to Daniel, who is a War of the Sea fan. Hi, Daniel. Well, Ben. Uh, what do you think of the season so far? Um, it's been good. Junior and Phoenix were huge blows, but they've recovered okay. We look solid defensively for the most part. It's just we've had a couple of incidents in games that let you down. You have the Wexford goal going in early and Bray as well. Like, but overall, Giles Phillips has been really good so far. Whoever plays centre back beside uh, beside Giles Phillips has been good. To be fair, whether it's been Eddie Nolan, Campbell played there for a little bit. Um, or obviously recently it's been Dean Larkin and the team the last couple of games um, Nyla Keefe's still there Shane Griffin's got the most assists in the league he's doing well and then you've got your superstar in front Ronan Coughlin so it's doing okay Who do you think are the standout players in the Waterford FC squad? Um, Ronan Coughlin's been the star man to be fair his goal scoring record speak for itself probably should have scored to be fair on Friday night against Wexford a couple of nice opportunities which you'd back him um, but he's been excellent so far so there's not much complaining to do either Um bit of work to be done, I think the final turned out wide, whether it's been Con Clark or Parsons, they haven't really given us a whole heap of goal threat, that's one thing you do need to add, I think in July, um, even when I do, I do as we go to the reading game, it's going to have spot, you need a little bit more goals in the team, um, John Phillips is a really good sign, the fairs of McMenny was in really good when he's played. What style of football would you like to see us play tonight? We've got to be good in the ball, Galway, are, Galway tend to be very good at winning games, 1-0 from set plays each. What are the away crowds like for Water FC this season? We've held well crowd wise because we always do travel with us. Home support lets us down at times because the race track, so it's not been ideal. Do you think Waterford can beat Galway tonight? We can beat Galway. Do I think we do? I don't think we do. I think we draw one one. Thanks for talking to me, Daniel, and hopefully the Blues can go up this season.